Hey, what's up there, YouTube? This is Crazy Magic Hawkman. Today, I kind of forgot to push uh, record, so so I'm real sorry for this. With this uh, pack opening, I know you guys are excited for it of Magic the Gathering. So, just I'm not going to read them all, so, because I know most of you guys get bored of that. Uh, treasure, that's my third treasure, man. Worst. Ah. Uh, no planeswalker. Sweet dinosaur, though. Yeah. I guess I'm contacted by the spirit of the dinos. Our vampire. Ah, oh, got another dinosaur. See Nathaniel? That's actually just a snake. Oh, it's a it snake. looks like a dino, but it's just a snake. It's oh, a snake. Oh. It's a sphere wonder. Oh, you can put that in your deck right now. Before we play, oh, the, second, the one you got. Oh, the one I got. Yeah, the one you got in your pack just now. Uh huh. Here, can I see your oh, sure. uh, deck? There's something for my green deck that I have. What? Yeah, so you just gotta look through here and Dude, find something that you want to pull out. My first pirate. Pirate. Arr. Oh. Right. Is she going to get your card? Yeah. Okay. She's getting my plan that. Wait, did you get out of here this time? Oh, this time? I think so, thanks. Oh, I got, I got a zombie and a pizza. And another pirate. Yay. I guess the pirate oh. gods is one to oh, build me a pirate. I, when I pull out one of those pack, I pick. Like what I pulled. But it's not a planeswalker. Great. That's a good dino, though. Not bad for a dino. That's a really good dino. How much for price? I don't know, but it's look on TCG player. Dino. I can. Ooh. Enter the unknown. Target. Target explorer. Again with the dinosaur and pirates. You may play this turn. Nice. I love it. Let me see, man. It's a enter the unknown. Yeah, I've got pirates and lands. dinosaurs. And your guy can put them to get bigger. Oh yeah. So those things are sweet. Target mm -hmm. your Target and control explore. You go to the top of your library, click, play, Yeah, so far I've got pirates and dinosaurs. Let's go and I find Okay. I thought about buying me a. a Discord sleeves. Yeah. So I can oh, have yeah. the bride of Discord. In action versus, and if Nathaniel didn't bring his deck, I would let him borrow my Princess of Friendship, which is also known as my Gideon deck, which he probably knows more about it, huh? What? Gideon deck? You know more about it? Explains all the Um, I know somewhat about it. About Gideon. Gideon's a planeswalker originally from Theros, mm -hmm. who was a street urchin that was taken under the wing of a um, dungeon warden or a guy who runs the dungeon and taught um, binding magic. And he learned that he had a magic, had a natural talent for magic that uh, protected himself. So and allowed him to uh, become a hero. 
So it's the story for Nicopolis. The Nicopolis is one of the elder dragons of Dominaria uh-huh. that was part of a group of elder dragons, and he was the only one that I know of that was also a planeswalker. And his machinations and his um, reaching is to basically rule. He wants he wants to take control over huge chunks of the multiverse, and he has to do it. Like he used to have the power of basically a god before the mending, where planeswalkers had incredible amounts of power, but after the mending. The planeswalkers um, lost a lot of the power that they had. <sighs> so he's been trying to get more of that power. Yes. Yes. Okay. Man, I like DJ Pony, but I am a big fan of her original name, Final Scratch. Yeah, well, a lot of us didn't know. Like, they didn't really have her name on there until later. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, see that one? Yeah. Uh-huh. Just leave the plastic on there for now. Oh, well. Well, it's shiny. Yep, I'm gonna be using it for uh, my Locust God. Oh, uh, Locust God. Yep. So. Even though these are scarabs, but. They're are, insects. We, are we doing like the. the we're doing the four man thing again. All four man again? Mm-hmm. The one guy's just having his. Uh, getting some cards brought for him. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Wonder whose dice is that? I don't know. Hey, Faith, is this your dice? I think it was just left over last night. Oh. I Where didn't recognize it. Uh, so how long does that sell for playmats to be going on? I'm not sure. It, it's, um, it's like reduced some of my inventory. Because I, I did a count and I have like 79 at oh, that's the a lot. year. And I should only have about 30. Uh, I went a little overboard last year ordering playmats. It's too bad you can't sell these playmats for five bucks each. <laughs> That's a really low for a playmat. Well, you got a minute, that'd be... A... Yeah, it is a used one, so there's a point to that, but... Yeah. But, still... But it's kind of nice, because not a lot of people realize they need a playmat, so they don't come or they forget one, so... Yeah. Right. I have some they can use, so they don't have to run back home. That is it's a nice True. way to do it. It saved me a few times. Oh, you like this one. I don't know where it is. Oh, you're back. Uh, yeah. Does anyone take a look at my artwork? Nice. You can flip through it. Okay, I'll take a look in a minute. Uh-huh. Um. Pepsi, a shield, Batman logo, uh-huh. some swords, Triforce. Isn't um, that size perfect? That's that is beautiful. That's a, that that magic a, lotus, huh? Yeah, black lotus in the middle with um, dragon that looks like a dragon for representing every color. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's beautiful. Except for one problem, there's no white dragon. Yep. Right oh, there. I see him. Yeah. I'm kind of blinded. Basically. Yeah, well, it's kind of just like hiding up in there, but that is that is beautiful. The, the size is what I like. It's perfect for Commander. Yeah, it's it's a bigger mat, which is nice. <sighs> that's beautiful. Where did you get that one? Gamma. It was their giveaway. For this okay. So, okay. Whew. That is a very beautiful map. And see if they have um, them for sale. Mm hmm. The artwork. Normally, it's about three months afterwards that the artwork goes up on regular size maps. Right. And last year's map was really, really thick. 
Okay. Is that one's that one's also got the stitch border, right? Yes. See, that's the thing that bugs me about like Ultra Pro's mat. I don't know why they're they're still finding it because like this mat I hardly ever use, and it's still like frayed because I don't like using it because they got um, Mark Rosewater and a couple other people from the design team to sign it. Loading Ready Run. Uh, Jimmy Wong from the Command Zone. Like I got a bunch of cool, like magic people from YouTube side and from like the company to sign this when I was at PAX a few years ago. I was kind of curious, what support pack that comes with, with, with that planeswalker? Um, uh, Garouk hasn't seen a printing since M14. He hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't been in Magic Story um, for. So what? Four years ago or so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did D die or? No, he's. Nope. Nope. Um, there's a demon that was stuck on uh, Zendikar. Mm. He had a like this um, hedron stone stuck in his head, and it was locking him in place. Uh -huh. um, he got cursed by a chain pill from Liliana. That's why you can see the the purple veins. Uh -huh. And he got up to a point where he just won't, he's like, instead of hunting beasts, which is what he um, was introduced as, a great beast hunter, uh, he got a taste for hunting planeswalkers. So he is wandering the multiverse killing planeswalkers as we speak. Yeah. Um, I cannot remember. Yeah, the last time he was, he was running after. I think, I thought he got um, stuck somewhere. Oh, no, he got... The, the gem stopped him from getting changed. Because <sighs> Jay stole a uh, Mixel's just like little heat oh, he had yeah. in his head. And he plopped it into Karuk. Because I think the chain bill was trying to transform him into some kind of demon thing. Mm. And so. Make sense on that. Yeah. And so. Um, well, we're hoping to see him this fall. But hopefully. I I think we're returning to Ravnica. Again? I know. I'm like, we we need to stop just revisiting the same group of planes. Like, well, the thing that I think is a little weird Lara is... or something like that. So they kept Garfield on after his help with Dominaria. Oh, okay. So we're going someplace either brand new mm -hmm. or someplace really crazy. I'm happy that they kept Richard Garfield on, though. Well, it, nice. it's... It, it was nice that he got brought back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, there's stuff that I was worried about. It's like, they're going home, but the creator's not there. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, he got the bees in yeah. foil. Yeah. Oh. So he's saying that he got two of the foil yeah. tokens. Yeah. And I'm going to get... Yeah. So it, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah. I'm just... I just I don't know. see him sometime this year because he's... Right. I don't necessarily personally care for the fact that they're going a very Kamigawa route with... Um, uh, the Uncommon with Dominaria. Legendaries. Lots well, of Legendaries. It's, I, it's... They're making a very Legendary heavy set and that's what a lot of people didn't like about Kamigawa. And they haven't shown us... Um, they haven't shown very many good cards yeah. on the website. Besides the, the um, Sea Butch. Oh yeah. I, I, I do food. like the, the Veteran War Leader. Yeah. Veteran War Leader. Oh, they have sweet cards like Wizard Bolt, Wizard the Wizard Counter Spell. They have sweet cards, and some of the legendaries are really cool for Commander, especially the the Wizard that is his Fist of Suns built in. That is I think awesome. he'll be like a super sweet Commander because he's just. Like, if you build him right, he's just going to be like, I'm going to cast the stupidest, biggest spells I possibly can. But a lot of some of the other stuff, I'm just like, the the sagas are really hit and miss for me. They're a cool idea, but... If you can bring your entire hand back, I'll run so. all the, I'll, I'll look at all the green sagas for, for anything that I'm running um, Creator's Council in, but that's it. Yeah. Uh, well, my thing is, like, I have people talk about Starfield with the sagas. Starfield of Nyx. Because uh, you Starfield of Nyx bring in it. Like, they were talk he was talking specifically about the, um, the one that makes knights. Because you bring it back in with Starfield, get a knight. Then it triggers because it's after your upkeep. 
it's after your draw step that it triggers. So then you get two knights, and then the next turn, those knights get plus two, two plus one, and the other stuff. And then the turn after that, you get two more knights. Are you so, still recording? Yeah. It gets some interesting stuff going on. Who's YouTube is getting an education on magic? I'm just sitting here, just shuffling, really playing nice. with my dice, and... I like the fact that they don't go to your graveyard, you exile them. At least that's what I was explained. Okay. If they exile, that's going to be really bad. Yeah, I think they're s you sacrifice them. I think that's just how they were reading. Maybe I'll look it's it up. Just how everyone's explaining it differently. Yeah, so. because I was just like, from reading the cards, I was like, I'm pretty sure they get exiled. Dominaria. Let's see if it will go. Sometimes my phone doesn't like to do its job. <laughs> Want to borrow my phone? No, it's all good. Count your cards there, Butch? No, just kind of practice a little bit. Uh -huh. See, we got so far three uh, people talking. Huh? If you guys want to play a game for fun while we wait to get started, I'm down. Okay, I'm up for that. Alright. I'll see you guys later, YouTube.